So we're going to start uh, configuration of Visual Studio from the very, very basic. So how we set up new organization, add your project, so even that you can actually say you set up VSTS that has been used. So to track your work and also for agile, it's actually agile management too, but you can be used to manage development lifecycle from end to end. So we're going to focus on the agile management too, to manage your agile lifecycle right now. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new organization. So let's, I've just logged in as we just created this profile um, brand new. So for the training, so, and we're going to work through how to start this from beginning. So, create new organization. So, organization that we are creating, let's call it Blue Sky. Sky. So it's going to be so the URL after creation is going to be blue sky dot visual studio dot com. So and is also asking us the type of uh, version control that we're going to use. So whether team foundation version control or Git. So let's focus on Git. So we're going to use Git. So continue. So that should create the environment for us. Okay, the name is been it's it's been reserved. Let's see, let's see it on the discussed. So let's try that. Okay, I think that's okay. Okay, so when that is finished in a moment, okay, so when I have that created, cool, so now you have that created for you, so my first project uh, so now is to create the project so let's go to my first project on so So we're going to focus on the work, not on the, because there are a lot of things that you can use here. Your dashboard, for instance, and is everything that the overview of your project, your team and everything. But like I said, so this is your dashboard. You can add work item, you can add your code from your repository, automate your build. So, and also you have your backlog here and your board, your tax board. You can create it, you can create query and also you can also even connect to Visual Studio um, for your code and that. So that's basically 
what we're going to work on also even iteration um, date and everything so but let's just set it up first uh, the first thing we need to do is let's go to our work item Okay, in here you have your work item. We don't have any right now. We can create uh, different ones that we want to create, and you have your backlog, which also is going to contain nothing because we've not added anything to the backlog. So, and also you have your queries also that uh, you can create queries to search for items that you've added to the backlog. So these are different queries that you can also search for your test cases that you've written. So today we're going to go through end to end on how to do how to do this. So first thing I would create a new team. Let's create a new team. So so new team uh, it's created one as a default one for us but we want to start from very very beginning so let's create a new team so let's call our team in 10 team one so so everyone that has been added will be added to the team well will be a contributor so but you can as well and specify if the person will be build administrator or project administrator or reader. So, but we want to make sure everyone is is a contributor. So, and you create a path for the team. Okay, so we have the team right now and it's got only one member so we can set this team as our default project so automatically it goes to that so which you want to to do so then let's go to the team so this is the team we can add new members to the team so Normally, if you have more people, you can just search for the name of the people that you want to add. So, but right now, we haven't got anything, so I don't think it's going to see anyone. So, we can add users first. So, if you go to... I don't know. to add users security members I think there's So I think that just wanted to add new members so to this okay that is the team okay Let's continue actually. So, I think it should be uh, here and everywhere. I'm not sure why it's not there. 
So, but our focus is on the work anyway um, today. So we created our team. Let's go to that team that we created. And right now it's got only one member, which is Tessa. So, and this is the name of the user that is got right now. So let's go to the So that is the name of that user that is good. So, but now we need to now go to the work item. So like I said, our focus is on work item. Yeah, so this is where as a business analyst, they will add the item for that particular sprint or what you want to do in the sprint or everything that goes into the backlog will be added. So from here, I can start adding. So I can add feature to say my first feature will be registration and login. So, and I can add description um, for registration and login and everything. But your feature is not where you, you know, it's kind of like a folder or different requirements. So at that level, for instance, if I go to one minute, this view I'm actually looking for. Okay, so if I go to the dashboard, overview of the intention. So, and I go to the board. Okay, so from this board, I can see different stories and also uh, I can also see features that will be created. For instance, if you go to the feature one, I think I, just, I created one right now. So well, I can start to create a new new feature. My registration login. Then wish list. Community. Let's say these are the three features that we want to focus on. Okay, maybe it's posting items. So these are the four features we want to focus on. Then you go to the first one, which is registration. So on registration, you start to add your backlog item. So what you could do, you could do it in two ways. You can add from here, so to say add new item. So what exactly do you want to add? Do you want to add a bug or you want to add backlog items? So, okay, all right, there's an issue here. Yeah, I think this needs to be changed to Scrum. I think this is not agile. One minute. We just we just settings. Okay, the process is agile, but I think we need 
to use Chrome. So Okay, yeah, we need to use Chrome so because they have different way. So let's select Chrome as is one. So yeah, I was looking for this before. So the one that we created is this one. So I think that was created wrongly. It was created as an agile board for think what we need to create is a scrum board to be honest so um, we will create another one quickly new team okay in team to to the settings and then main administrator profile that's fine so So team two. So I need to change it to from agile to scrum. Okay, so welcome my from the situation. Hold on, one minute. Uh, purchase settings. All right, let's use this approach to be honest. Uh, create a new team under Agile, under Scrum, rather. So,
project name in term three. So yeah, I think this is that one was not actually showing this row. I think this was I was looking for. It should be it should allow you to select which one you want. So depending on on the work item process that you have, it gives you different methods to use. So but I want to focus on Scrum in this particular meeting. So and yeah, we we are going to use Git. So and that that is done. So let's just do that. I will put this together. So if you are watching this video, I think you start from here, I should be fine. So Okay, so now we have this now. So this is if you are trying to create a clone of your computer or you are working on, uh, let's say, Visual Studio and you want to be checking your code, this is the URL or um, for to clone your document. But we are not going to be using, we are not going to covering the gate or checking the yeah. so today is basically how to use VSTF as agile management too. So that's what we want to cover today. So it's not about Git or how to use Git. So like I said, this is what we are particular about. The work item. So let's go to the board and see what we have on in turn three. So overview of the board. So okay, this is what we are expecting. So we can manage our work by adding work to the board. We can we are not considering this right now because this is when you are checking your code to your repository and also in you can also automate your code to like a continuous integration or continuous deployment. You can use that also. But we are not focusing on this too. We are only looking at the managing of work. So let's click that. Okay. So this is what we have right now. So this is what I was expecting. So on our feature, let's go to our features. So feature is the high level requirement of what you're going to do. So now let's say we want to let's go to the this is the bot part and you can go to the backlog so that gives you a new layout so this is the backlog for all the features in your product for your product so we can start to add new features so let's say our first feature that we're going to develop is registration and login Then after that, we do posting of items. Then we do wish list and we do community. So those are the four features that we're going to develop. So and now let's go to this feature. So like I said before, I said you can add um, backlog items, which is your story, to your feature in different ways. One way is to click on that 
uh, add related work and say new item and what item are you adding um trying to add backlog uh, okay it's a child that i'm adding so and it's a back product backlog item and uh, what is the is the name so registration of new users so that is that so you're not on yeah right now you have registrations for new user which you are um, tied to and you can assign that particular um, tax to people so we're going to talk about that one later when you do the assignment and everything but at this point this is the role of a BA the business analyst is going to write the requirement for you and say given I um on give read and I click on register put a link then I should be able to register. So you can as well write it in like a BDD version for you for some be able to do that then you can save and close so and that is you so we do other one for other features then we go through the process again so okay so let's close that and I said there are different ways that you can do that also so you can as well in this one I think we went in there and we had put a backlog item to that one so for this one we can as well click in here and I say okay let's add backlog item so you want to add backlog item and you can see related item that particular posting item is already been linked so automatically to this particular new item that we're about to create so let's say right now we are talking about posting a single item when so I'll say user of give rates Says the size and should be able to post an item. So that might be what the BA will write. So and save and close. So I think that lot of type of uh, okay so you can see that is mapped to that one automatically so but there's one already mapped with this maybe if I do refresh it's going to see that so and I can as well create in another one also no item I want to create another one on this also so let's say creating multiple items so the same thing also description is uh, say is uh, when my answer So that is that. So you do that also, and you can see it's already been linked to the posting of item features. So and you can see that. Oh, you see, brother. 
So one thing I did not say also is acceptance, acceptance criteria. So I will let me add this now for which list. So creating wish list. So So acceptance criteria is the criteria that needs to be met for this particular story to be tagged done. Well, as a tester right now, what are the conditions that this story will meet before you can actually say, oh yeah, this story can be close as being done. So, and you can say that login as a valid user then you are able to post and be able to create a wish list okay that is one maybe you can say scenario one so also scenario two so let's use a in the let's do in the given given I am not valid user When I try to create a what's it called wish list, then it should not be possible. So something like that. So yeah, that is that for for that. So we've created the story, and so you can have your story created there. So if I refresh that. So you can see that is for the registration. That so you can see that level. So you have your feature at the top. You have your backlog item being mapped to that one. So like I said, your feature is kind of like a folder, and you put all different backlog items that are related to that particular feature, and you can put that. So if you now go to your board, you see how that is presented. So you can see that is presented. You can extend. See, there's one item. There are two items here. So in that. So if you go to the backlog board, so you can see these are different backlog that, um, items that we've created. So one, two, three, four. So now, so that is going to represent your, okay. This is going to represent everything that is your product backlog item. Uh, we now have sprints. So out of what is in there, you go for a sprint planning and you click on that one and you analyze that story and you say, okay, oh, this story, uh, this way you edit, you edit, you, you put more details and you put your assessment criteria and then uh, at the end you can approve that particular story that yeah that story is ready to be done so and you approve it to be in the sprint 
and then we can now say okay it's going to which iteration iteration one so you put it into uh, sprint one so once that is done that means you are ready to work on that particular sprint or on that particular story in sprint one and you can save and as well you can also assign this particular story if you think okay it's ready you know who's going to work on it some people will do that instantly but in most cases it's going to be when the person is ready to work on it they assign it to themselves let's say you now start the sprint and you, you want to assign it, just click on that and you assign it to yourself and you click on save and close or you can click on this button that only gives you save button and you can click on save and there are other options here you can change the type of that particular um, backlog item maybe you realize that it was not even a backlog item it should be a bug you can change that you can move to a different team maybe this is not supposed to be in this team it's supposed to be in the other team that we created you can move to the other team you can create a copy of that work item or you can email that or you can delete so different thing that you can do in that in this particular story so and another thing also here also is you can add attachments you can create add different items let's say you want to add a different items so for instance I want to add uh, as say hmm. no sorry uh, I want to add a link which is related link okay I want to add link assisting item no branch I want to add a story child so I want to say uh, if I know the item I can put the item here let's say the one that we say posting so yeah posting yeah this one I can add this particular story but this is not a good example but let's say this story is also related to this particular story you can add it so then they are linked together or you can if it's not child you can say related I think there's another one. yeah you can say this story is related to that so and they serve on together so mm, let's suppose then. okay yeah so posting so you can yeah you can see they are now linked together so you can save and close so that is that so now so and that has been moved to sprint one so you can see you go to sprint one you see that particular story in sprint one so and you can as well drag and drop into sprint one so let's say uh, oh, then we agree that this has to be drop done in sprint one too I can drag it into sprint one so and if I go to sprint one I should see those two so now these are the two it might be a lot that you need to work on so it might be a lot so you just need to go and now the next thing is like let's say we want to create the test case for this you click on that so you are working on it now you want to create your test case on, on this one so so you go to link add link you want to add link and new item so this time okay let's say it's a child that you want to create for what exactly you want to create a test case so what is the name of your test case let's say valid okay let's say it's creating Items. Okay, so let's say that's our title for your test case. Then 
he opens that for you. And this time around, you might want to use different uh, test techniques like boundary value analysis or equivalent, equivalent partitioning to write your test case. But at this point, you have your test case you can assign to yourself or you can assign to other people. So, and it's on design at this point. When it finishes, you can change to different. Oh, I'll save it right now. You can see. Okay, let me even save it. One minute, even before doing that. So, you have your step, you have your action, your expected result, and your you, yes. Also, you can add attachments. So, the first thing also that you want to do is your step. Let's say you say click on login, expected result, um, login page is displayed because you need to force login then also um, login with valid username and password so then click on post multiple So, fill the details, click submit. So now you can say the form is submitted. So you can save that and then so when it's ready to be run you can change it to now when you're about to run it you click on ready so what's going to happen now is this action now you go you open your website and you perform this action on, on that so and that's what you need to do then if it passes then you change it to pass. So, and if you face, you, uh, hold on, I'll show you in a minute. You raise a bug. Okay, let's say now I've got this test case right now that's created for this particular story, and I open it, it's ready for me to, to run, and I've already got that so so let's assume that I am running it right now and I click on submit and the form is now submitted successfully then I can click on add and I say new and I can click on bug I can say the form is not submitted successfully. So, and at this point now, it's asking you to put the uh, the step to reproduce the bug, and in some cases, it might be the same step that you've done before, I can copy and paste like that. So this is the bug that I've created. So I think I should be able to control V. Oh no, okay. So I think it's not able to copy and paste. So you just need to write the, the step um, um, login then post the item then go item cannot be posted. So you need to write the step and that's it. So and 
so so another thing I want to also mention within the time I have right now is so you can as well now put it in committed if it's ready to be done because uh, it's going to go from approved to committed if ready to be done so and so what happens is then you can put your priority to say is it how soon should this be done if it's like cosmetic you can say it's a one or if it's a four depending on what's been agreed in your team so some people will go as one is the biggest some people go as four is the biggest so it's depending on what's been agreed and how quickly they need to be done need to be done also the same thing with severity also like is it critical is it high is it low is it medium so critical means that i cannot even continue at all this needs to be fixed asap or there's a blocker is a showstopper this has to be fixed i will mean that oh we need to fix this when it's ready medium will mean that ah okay this can wait but maybe before release we need to fix it but and also low will mean that we can live with it it doesn't matter it's fine if we don't fix it that's okay everyone is not going to fall so that's that is that so you can as well also specify the build that you find it on and you can put that in also in your step so and yeah also you have the discussion this is basically like when you want to communicate to developer and you can say oh let's say you've tested this bug and it's, it's not yet fixed so you can actually say I have tested it and it is not fixed can you please recheck so so you can put the name of the person and yeah I can click on save so the person goes there also and see your message also as that and the person can also write their own message and say oh please uh, look as the new version deployed today so and also put your um can say art because like i said i only have one um user but if you have more than one user it's going to be this you can put that there so and you can say so and that is that so when the story is done and is okay the bug is done you can say done and that is that and it, so that means it's done so for the few minutes that remains i'll just go so you can see for sprint 2 we don't have anything so so on um, for sprint one we we have the story and you can as well move that story to done if it's done one minute there's a question here how many iteration can we have for sprint how many iteration iteration and sprint are the same thing so this is iteration if you need if you mean how many backlog item how many items can you have in the sprint this is sprint and it's also called iteration so and if you want to say how many of how many of of items how many items can you have you can have as many items as possible for instance you can have let's say test okay this is a task anyway so let's go to the backlog items how can we run it 
when everything is completed without bug. This is manual testing, so this is not automated. So what? Okay, one minute. I will go back to that again. So let's go to sprint one again. In sprint one. If you go to the backlog item, okay. So in print sprint one, we have these items. So and we can as well create other items. Item two. So say another item three. Item two. For on and on like that, and you can as well drag it to your sprint when you are doing the sprint planning. Let's so we'll put in the sprint too. Okay, so as you can see in Spring 2, we now have more items in Spring 2. In Spring 1, which is our current, we have this only this one. So, so what I think the question was how do we run this test? So, I think the one that we were working on before. That's got a test case is a multiple one. Okay, is this one? So if I open that and I can see my test cases linked to it, which is this one. So I open my test case. So what do I need to do? Because the man not test case. If this is on. Uh, we just to do online. So because there's other one on, on premise that you can as well say run your test. It's not going to run it automatically for you. It's going to just bring this step at the one side and it's going to divide your screen into two. So then what that means that you can be looking at the step and perform that um, you perform that operation, which means that you can go and click on login. You go to this is how you're going to run it. Click on login. Maybe you've specified it properly on givereads.com. So what you're going to do is you go to givereads.com. So you click on login there. You click on login. So and you go back to your test. You say login with username and password. You login. So, and then you said click on post uh, multiple. You look at the site. Where's post multiple? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's no post multiple. It's only post add that I've got. So that means that is a bug. So I'm going to now raise a bug. I'll go here and I say new item. I want to raise a link as a child to that particular story and is a bug. And I can say no post multiple so that goes to the developer to fix that I put the steps that I've gone through and I can now save it and close then so that means this story that I've, I've run 
I can put it in it's still, it's still not maybe it's not going to be closed but, but if everything is fine and it's okay successful I can put it to close that means I've been able to run it and it's, it's fine and yeah it's closed so that is what you would do so I think that is that so you can you can have a play on this so I'll send the um, URL later URL is that actually so blue sky citadel dot visual studio dot com so and you can create anything that you want to create and everything so it's kind of a playground for you yeah, <laughs> testing is for you. So it's 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 boring. So I can I can tell you it's not. So yeah, basically that's what you need to do. So, but the step that we went through before on how to set it up and everything, you don't you might not need to do that. So it's only that if you go for an interview or you find yourself you haven't got it before and you want to set up VSTS for them. So and that's where we started at the very beginning. The only thing that you did not see is me going to visualstudio.com and register as that particular user that we are using right now. So I register as this user. So it's something that you also can also do by yourself. It is free. You just go to visualstudio.com and register your user and then you create your profile and you can also have your name visualstudio.com and you can start to have your agile management to even for anything that you want to do so that is basically it so and yeah any other question so so this is this is what you use for to manage the uh, agile end-to-end -end, basically okay cool so but by all means you can use this profile if you want to use profile create new items and everything and okay one thing i want to say is that for those one that you've been you've gone through the exploratory, exploratory testing and you've read a book or read several books i think um, is okay if if you can put that box there that would be useful so create that particular story that you find the bug on and attach that bug to that story and then after that send the link to to me so you can get the link and you send it so what I think yeah so and the link that you're going to send is this particular one so if you click on this that open because you can see that's a pop-up right so for instance this is a bug and I've click on that that open a pop-up for to me for this particular if you click on this link now it opens in the page so then that is a link to that particular page so you can send this and say this is the bug I raised for that particular story and then we can look at it I can review that with you to see if there are genuine bugs or or not so and so yeah that that is it so in summary what we've done was to create our project so our team we create our team and we call the team team intent team three so that is created as well you can as well create a team for your team actually so maybe that's another thing create a team for yourself and you add your teams team one team two team three or team a team b team. so put your project in there so the box that each of your team has created put them together review them together and you can work together in that so maybe the team lead should do that um, create team for your create the team for your for your team and also add the story that you are working on and everything so and uh, collaborate with that you know, together so and also uh, another thing uh, i said i did not actually touch is the uh, repository you can also manage your repository the same way you're using github you can use you can use this as also a repository to check in your stuff and everything so that's another repository that you can use even for your java code and everything so you can you can give that a try also if you want to to do that so but this today is for agile management too using for manner testing basically so 
okay so all right so okay i'll send the link out so i think that's it any other question okay so if no other question so we just call it a night yeah all right see you later bye bye